Grammy winner David Foster is once again ready to grace the stage at the Winds Encore Theatre. His show An Intimate Evening with David Foster, Hitman Tour is scheduled to stop by for a two-night engagement on June 23rd and June 24th. He'll be joined on stage by special guests including his wife, singer, and actress Catherine McPhee, as well as other vocalists like Pia Toscano and Daniel Emmett, among others. David Foster revealed that a few days ago he turned down Lilibet's birthday invitation in favor of other schedules instead of attending the birthday of someone he had never met. David Foster really wonders whether children exist or not, there have been many questions surrounding this issue and the truth is gradually being revealed. David Foster's suspicions were increasingly confirmed when Harry and his wife did not bring two children to the coronation of King Charles. The birthday of two children but there is not a single photo. Maybe Meghan can't borrow someone to fake Archie and Lilibet. According to some of his friends who are neighbors of Meghan Harry and Montecito have actually no seen the Sussex children. Meghan was furious when David Foster asked the questions about where the kids were. Why does no one ever see them? Meghan was never pregnant. The bumps changed size and shape. Who knew a baby bump could be rectangular, and some days Meghan Markle was flat as a pancake, and others she looked like a woman two months overdue. Her belly fell to her knees and deflated. But do the children even exist? Before there, Samantha Markle is raising questions about the existence of Archie Harrison and Lilibet Diana. Speaking to LBC, Samantha tells Nick Ferrari about logical conspiracies that say Archie and Lily don't exist, shouted that even the father Thomas Markle has not seen the children's full frontal faces. These are the reasons why the family of David suddenly cut off from the Sussexes, no real idea but a lot of fanfare was made by the Sussex duo when the two couples met in Macedo for supper, and the Sussex pair took along the photographer to snap them as they got out of their car and went in for the meal. Now that would be a complete turn-off, who's so publicity conscious that they want to have their pictures taken because they're going to have supper with the Fosters. The Fosters weren't even in the picture to prove the four met up. It was just after Catherine Foster had announced she was pregnant so you'd think could it all be baby talk. But according to someone who overheard when David Foster asked about Archie, his response was don't even go there. Well, among friends, you would have thought there was no subject that was out of bounds, especially as Catherine had been telling the media that David was like a second father to Harry. Don't even go there in reference to conversation about children and pregnancy really says it all. No Lilibet except the original one now sadly deceased. Never was any other Lilibet. I'm a British expat and remember the many years I lived in England and it was very rarely her personal family name was brought up. It was nice and made her more human having a pet name. Since this foul excrescence appeared it is repeated day after bloody day. Sick to death of it. I never even heard of it until my teens and that was a long time ago and not my business. The Queen thought the foul ex was wanting to call the rubber appendage Elizabeth and that was fine with her. She would never have given permission for her pet family name to be used, associated as it was with her father, mother and sister. This loathsome couple are like germ warfare, spreading their lies all over the world. I find it hard to believe she invited anyone to the invisible daughter or son's birthday. It's too ridiculous for words.